Hi guys, it's Lee. I hope you're all doing well. I'm just coming in with a cute mermaid vibe tutorial for you today. So the colour I am using is a new premix glitter called Pearl Ophelia. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving the colour shift and I'm loving how to work with it. So I'm just doing a full nail of this and then I will be doing a glitter ombre with this also. So I just place it at the free edge of my nail bringing it up and fading up just ever so slightly beyond the middle of the nail and then once I come to ombre it will be the perfect blend so then I'm doing another full nail of this just covering it over moving it around and making sure I've got the coverage that I want I then come in with Pinkerbell cover and this will be my full nude nail. I just alternate where I want my glitter to be and where I want the nudes to be. On top of this, I come in with Perlophilia and just make sure that I do a nice swoop around. Nothing fancy, nothing perfect, just to tie the set in a bit more together. I do the same on the thumbnail and that will be the base of my set complete. Just be sure to cap them also so that you do not file your glitters off when it comes to filing. To do my ombre, I'm just placing that bead just on top of where I faded off my glitter and then I'm pulling down just before the free edge and just gently pulling just to give it a nice ombre. I then go and add more where necessary just to give a bit more coverage that I'm looking for. Then go in and top coat after I have filed and look at these glitters come to life. It's absolutely stunning. So I'm just going over because I'm going to do a nice little design on top to tie the set of the mermaid theme together for me. So I come in with the Unbelievable Gel in white and I'm just creating a nice cuff where the cuticle area would be. I fill that in with white and then I go in with a nice mermaid sort of scale look. I'm just creating these semicircles, a bit like a bunting, and just pulling them over to each side to make sure that I've got the perfect sort of ratio between each of the curves. And where the point meets, I would add another curve and that will give that scale sort of look. I do that right down to the end of the nail and that would be the scale nail complete. I come in now with white once again and just to create a sort of shell type of look. So I'm just bringing the points all the way from the free edge right to the center of the nail. And then I go in with swagger just to fill in those lines and to make it look more like a shell type of nail. I then go in with a lovely pearl because I thought that was so fitting and that is your set complete. Please be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.